born on 12th June 1966, Peter Iluelu grew up during the period of turmoil in the country, punctuated by coups, economic downturn and political persecution. This impacted heavily on Elwelu and he did not further his education after completing his O-level. On 2nd January 1986, at the age of only 20, as the National Resistance Army, now renamed the Uganda People's Defense Forces, gained ground in the country and toppled the then President Tito Okelo Lutwa, Elwelu joined the army and was commissioned on 27th June 1987 as a cadet. In 1991, he returned to Jinja for further training. He proceeded for another training in Tanzania in 1998 before going to China in 2009 and Kenya in 2012. His has been a steady rise. He has served in several positions, including commander of Operation Lightning Thunder in the Central African Republic in 2010. He was commander of the first Uganda military contingent in Somalia between 2007 and 2008 and served in the fourth third and fifth division between 2002 and 2005. He also commanded the 33rd and 55th battalion. In December 2012, he rose to the rank of brigadier and in the following year became the second division commander. In simple terms, this was the turning point for Elwelu following the attack on the palace of the King of Rensururu in Kasese in November last year. More than 100 people were killed during the raid and over 150 arrested. 162 people, including the King Charles Wesley Mumberry, have since been charged with various charges, including treason, over the escalation of violence in the district. But Elwell was put on the spot shortly after the operation, and many local leaders in Kasese have since called for his prosecution before the International Criminal Court. Actually, those ones who are saying so are the ones who must go to the ICC because they are responsible for whatever was happening in, in, in Rezori. Elwelu is not one to shy away from a fight and he believes his position is very clear. Some speculate that it is perhaps this hard stance that has propelled him to where he is. The army thinks otherwise. Not at all. There is no connection whatsoever. It's because he has done a good job. Major General Peter Elwelu. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.